Welcome to Emperor's Archive, the channel where we explore the lore and history of the Warhammer 40k universe. In this video, we will focus on one of the loyalist first founding chapters of the Space Marines, the Salamanders. Who are they? Where do they come from and what makes them unique among their brothers? Let's find out. The Salamanders are the 18th Legion of the Space Marines, created by the Emperor of Mankind from the genetic material of the Primarch Vulcan, one of the 20 superhuman sons of the Emperor who were scattered across the galaxy by the forces of chaos. Vulcan was a perpetual, a rare human mutant who could regenerate from any injury, even death, he was also a master craftsman, able to create weapons and armor of unparalleled quality and power. Vulcan landed on the volcanic death world of Nocturne, a planet racked by constant seismic activity and extreme temperatures. There, he was adopted by a blacksmith named Enbel, who taught him the secrets of the forge and the art of war. Vulcan grew up among the people of Nocturne, who lived in seven main settlements and had to endure the harsh environment and the attacks of the giant fire-resistant reptiles called salamanders. Vulcan became a leader and a protector of his people, earning their respect and admiration. One day, the Emperor arrived on Nocturne seeking his lost son. He challenged Vulcan to a series of contests, testing his strength, skill, and wisdom. The final contest involved hunting and slaying a salamander, the most dangerous creature on the planet. Vulcan succeeded in killing the beast, but was mortally wounded in the process. The Emperor then revealed his true identity and healed Vulcan with his psychic powers. Vulcan recognized the Emperor as his father and swore allegiance to him and his vision of uniting humanity under the Imperium of Man. The Emperor then gave Vulcan command of the 18th Legion of the Space Marines, who had been fighting in the Great Crusade under the name of the Dragon Warriors. Vulcan renamed them the Salamanders in honor of the creatures of his homeworld and the trials he had faced. He also instilled in them his values of compassion, honor, and self-sacrifice, making them one of the most humane and noble chapters of the Space Marines. They are maintained a close connection to their homeworld and their people, unlike most other chapters, who severed ties with their origins. They are would often return to Nocturne to visit their families and clans, and to craft their own equipment in the forges of their fortress monastery on the moon of Prometheus. The Salamanders fought bravely and loyally in the Great Crusade. Alongside their father and their brothers, they were known for their resilience, their mastery of fire and flame, and their concern for the lives of the innocent. They also forged strong bonds of brotherhood with each other, calling themselves the Sons of Vulcan. However, their loyalty and honor would be tested by the greatest betrayal in the history of the Imperium, the Horus Heresy. The Horus Heresy was a galaxy-wide civil war that erupted when Horus, the War Master and the favored son of the Emperor, turned to the dark powers of chaos and rebelled against his father. He corrupted half of the Primarchs and their legions and launched a devastating attack on the Imperium. Vulcan and the Salamanders remained loyal to the Emperor and joined forces with the Iron Hands and the Raven Guard to stop Horus and his traitors. They met on the planet of Istvan V, where they were ambushed by four more legions who had secretly joined Horus. The Loyalists were outnumbered and outmatched, and suffered heavy casualties. Vulcan himself was killed by an orbital atomic strike, but his perpetual nature allowed him to resurrect. However, Vulcan's resurrection was not a blessing, but a curse. He was captured by his traitor brother, Conrad Kurz, the Primarch of the Night Lords, who tortured him endlessly for his amusement. Kurz was a sadistic and insane Primarch 
who enjoyed inflicting pain and fear on his enemies. He tried to break Vulcan's spirit and sanity, but Vulcan resisted. He escaped several times only to be recaptured and tortured again. He even tried to kill himself, but his perpetual nature prevented him from finding peace. Eventually, Vulcan was rescued by a group of loyalist salamanders who had been searching for him for years. They managed to smuggle him out of Kurz's fortress and bring him to Macraga, the homeworld of the Ultramarines. There, Vulcan was reunited with his loyal brothers, who had gathered to defend the Imperium from Horus's final assault on Terra. Vulcan joined them in the Battle of Terra, where he fought alongside the Emperor and his sons against Horus and his minions. The battle was fierce and bloody, and ended with the death of Horus and the mortally wounded Emperor being interred in the Golden Throne. After the Horus heresy, the Imperium was shattered and divided. The surviving Loyalist Primarchs decided to reform the Space Marine Legions into smaller and more independent units, called Chapters. Each chapter would have a thousand Marines and would follow their own traditions and doctrines. Vulcan agreed with this decision and created several successor chapters from his Salamanders, such as the Black Dragons, the Storm Giants, and the Covenant of Fire. He also gave his original Salamanders a special mission to find nine sacred artifacts that he had hidden across the galaxy. These artifacts were powerful relics that Vulcan had crafted himself, and they were meant to be a test of his son's worthiness and skill. Vulcan then disappeared, leaving a message that he would return when the Salamanders had found all nine artifacts and when the Imperium would face its darkest hour. Since then, the Salamanders have continued to serve the Imperium with honor and courage, following the teachings of their father and the Promethean Creed, a variation of the Imperial cult that venerates the Emperor as the Anvil and Vulcan as the Forge. They have fought in many wars and battles, always defending the weak and the oppressed from the enemies of mankind. They have also searched for the artifacts of Vulcan, hoping to reunite with their father and fulfill their destiny. So far, they have found six of the nine artifacts, and they believe that the remaining three are within their reach. The Salamanders are one of the most respected and admired chapters of the Space Marines, and one of the few who still care about the common people of the Imperium. They are the Sons of Fire, the protectors of the innocent, and the loyal servants of the Emperor. They are the Salamanders, and they will never give up, never surrender, and never forget their father's legacy. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the Salamanders. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to Emperor's Archive for more Warhammer 40k lore and history. Thank you for watching, and may the Emperor protect you.